At this time of year, I love dishes which are delicious but don't take a huge amount of effort. And I think this is one of the best examples of that. It's lamb, slow roasted so that it's so soft it falls off the bone. And it's not full of lots and lots of different flavours, so you've got all those wonderful natural flavours of the lamb coming through. So all I'm going to do now is score the top of the lamb, just using a very sharp knife. Don't cut too deeply, all you're trying to do is just cut through that skin on the top layer. And then we're just going to put a little bit of vegetable oil over that. And some salt and pepper. Now I'm just going to give my hands a quick wash. Now I said I'm not using a huge amount of ingredients in this and all I'm going to have is a little bit of thyme and a little bit of garlic which are wonderful flavours that sort of naturally go with lamb. Just splash that on the board. Using about half of the cloves, skin on, don't worry about peeling them. Lay those in the bottom of your dish. And about half of the thyme as well. And what we do is just lay that shoulder just on top of that thyme and garlic. And scatter the remaining thyme and garlic over the top of that. And that's all the preparation needed for this dish. Now, I'm using a lidded casserole dish, but if you haven't got one, you can use a roasting tin, but wrap that tightly in foil so all that lamb stays covered up. I'm putting this into an oven now that I've preheated 240 degrees. And as soon as it goes in, I turn it down to 160 and let that cook for about five hours. So that lamb is now cooked all the way through, but it's still incredibly hot and too hot to handle. So I'm going to leave it for about 20 minutes and then come back and shred it. How simple was that? My completely effortless but wonderfully delicious slow cooked shoulder of lamb. So with some red currant jelly, some mash, some gravy, I cannot think of a better dish for a cold January day.